the one fiery comet will be delayed in the paddock before coming to the track. Here's the rest of the field to Arcola, owned by the Turndorf Racing LLC. Roger Welch trains Tim Tietrick in the bike. Three Bones of Steel, owned by William Little. David Isaacs trains, and Dale Heitman will drive. Four Bright Idea, owned by Daniel Tanny Hill. Todd Warren trains and drives. Fives Cardinal Blast, owned by Lloyd Roberts, Jr. Alan Trone, the trainer. Art Gregory, Jr., in the bike. Six is Moneyball, owned by Iris Horowitz. Steve Searle trains. Pat Berry gets the call to drive tonight. Seven solo status, owned, trained by Eligio Baccia. Andy Miller in the bike. Here comes number eight, Sherry's Delight, owned by Michael Polanski. Tom Harmer, the trainer. Dave McGee in the driver's seat. Nine is Princess in Turn, owned by Jeffrey Seekman. The trainer, Kathy Vaughn. Ryan Anderson looking for his fourth winner of the night. Ten Cocktail Peanuts, owned by William and Marta Alanya. William Alanya trains Sam Widger in the bike. And here comes the one fiery comet, owned by Stan Blumenfeld in the PB Racing Stables. Paul Blumenfeld trains. Mike Osting will drive. That's the field of ten trotters for the ninth race. Post time, five minutes away. Here they come. They're off and trotting in the ninth. And from the inside, Arcola is driving out between horses. Bones of Steel is headed for the front. Also looking for a good early spot is Bright Idea. Into that first turn they go three across, and Bright Idea grabs the early lead. Bones of Steel will settle in second. Arcola came away in third, racing in fourth, and finding a nice spot there with solo status. The next in line, Sherry's Delight. Following that one is a Fiery, or make that uh, Cardinal Blast. Then following that one goes a Moneyball, Princess in turn, Cocktail Peanuts, and after a break in the first turn, Fiery Comet can see them all. 28 seconds, the opening quarter. Down the back stretch, Bright Idea leads away a length and a half. Bones of Steel is second. Arcola trots right with the leaders. Third up on the outside in the fourth, Sherry's Delight. Then it's solo status down at the pylons in fifth. Moving up with cover six goes Moneyball. Then uh, next in line is Cardinal Blast. Then it's uh, Princess in turn, Cocktail Peanuts, and Fiery Comet, half 57-2. and two. Into the final turn, Bright Idea continues to show the way a length and a half. Bones of Steel getting the perfect trip second. Sherry's Delight grinding it out on the outside in third. Looking for room fourth is Arcola. Moneyball continues to gain with a second over trip. Also getting set to come three wide is a solo status off cover. As they race for the top of the stretch, Bright Idea still in command. Sherry's Delight on the outside trying to get to him second. Three quarters, 126 and four, and they turn for home. Bright Idea leads the way a length and a half. On the outside, Sherry's Delight is second. Down on the inside, Bones of Steel third, Moneyball's fourth. Through the stretch, that's Bright Idea drawing clear by three now. It's Bones of Steel second, late trot from Arcola up the passing lane, then Sherry's Delight. Bright Idea leads it. Here's Arcola with one final try, but she won't get there as Bright Idea, much the best here, wins it by a length and three quarters over Arcola. Then it was Bones of Steel and Sherry's Delight in 155 flat. Now returning to the winner's circle after his second straight impressive win here at Belmoral Park is the five-year-old gelding, Bright Idea. He's a son of Keystone Nordic out of the Wall Street Banker Mare, Birdsall Mary. Owned by Daniel Tannehill of Swartz Creek, Michigan, Todd Warren trains and drives, and that's a driving triple for Todd Warren. Once again, ninth race results are official, and the prices are up. The 4-2 exacta returns $17 even, 17 even. The 4-2-3 trifecta.